Welcome to forward testing, and here we go. Starting off here, we have APL, uh, Ample, and it is still in the game. All right. Going on now, next in line is Bumble, and they are still in the game. All right. Going on now to CG, Carlisle, and they are in the trade. And Discovery, and Discovery is still in the trade and ETOW. Okay, so let's stop here and we'll review real quick like what forward testing is. It's nothing more than you coming up with your own trading plan or scanner, or you're gonna do it visually by hand. And the end result is you go through and you mark up a bunch of charts and you come back and check it in every few days to see how it's doing. And if it meets your parameters and also to estimation about what your losses might have been in the options. Uh, right here, this is good. We ATO that we got stopped out, and it got stopped out of the EPS. So I forgot to identify that this loss is a EPS loss, and most EPS losses are approximately 10% from my past experience. I have had as little as minus 4% and as much as 15%, actually, with 17 something. So we just average it out 10%. But the idea is just to see how many losses and wins are being incurred and also an estimation about. Now, after you finish that phase, you now go into the next phase. And the next phase is you actually go and do paper trading and still do the same criteria work, but you're doing it now in paper trading. If that meets your criteria and win ratio and return, then you can go on to your live trading and you start off with one contract and here at thinkers when one contract trading is very economical is a dollar 35 whereas it's 11 dollars at trade station okay going on down the list our next one is ford ford is still in the game and coming down to gt and gt got stopped out so it got stopped out for eps loss at time 10 percent ready Kirkland. Yes, I did this a little earlier because I wanted to save some time here in the video. The video is getting right into the into 15 and 20 minutes. And it's like, no, we gotta just, just keep moving along and just just see where everything is standing and, and get a good muscle memory of of it of its parameters and its criteria, how it works, and also too uh, getting confidence that, that it does work. Okay, monster came down that it got an EPS here and Came back, revisited, and held strong, and now it's in the uptrend. We'll see what happens next. Work in MRK. It's also now it's clearing the first. It cool the close cleared the first ratio. So the traders who are very conservative and do not want to lose money, yeah, you can go ahead and say I'll put my stop here and I'll take whatever it is. Remember, you're taking too many small wins and you get hit by a big loss. It's going to take a lot of small wins to make up for the big loss. It's a lot easier to take a lot smaller wins and have a big win to knock out the small losses. So, but each person has to have their own risk tolerance of acceptance, and you deal. <laughs> excuse me, and deals with the rules. All right, going on now is X, it XRP and it's still good. You simply to stretch out to make sure that does not touch. Okay. And now we're now we are here at MOC OMC. And it's also in this clear the, it's a, the close cleared the uh, first ratio, but it it's it, it did not clear the full. Our rules are that we need to have a full body clearance to move up our exit. Uh, again, the traders and market wizards would have said, you know what, once you're in profit, I move my tie, I move my stop tight, and I'll take the profit. Again, it depends upon uh, how much profit you'd be taking consistently to over to avoid getting hit with a gap, and gaps do happen. Okay, that takes us to page, and page is page got stopped out for an EPS loss of ten percent. Already coming on down the ramp. And ramp is still in the game. Now, this is very wide, and some traders will accept this. Says, you know, I'll take a wide risk because I strongly believe that this is a this this is the bottom, and then therefore they'll wait for there to take profit. Because it's so wide, they'll take profit at the first ratio, taking it a one to one, or even wait for a two to one, or take it a three to one. What they can do is a test for scalping. That is, as I said earlier in the, in the, in the prior uh instruments that i said earlier you can decide close price closes above the line take the oh, put the stop there i'm going with the clear the candle so i want a little bit more return okay uh ramp saber 
OK, Sabre got stopped out. It's an initial. So this is the initial loss. Most initial losses uh, usually occur in the average 30% range. They can be as much as 50%, and it can be as little as 15. I have seen as little as 15% on an initial loss. So it, it all varies on the option itself and its uh, criteria is going on here with ATT. Now ATT, remember, is a real money live trade happening in the alpha account for the Stochastics 10 EMA. This forward testing is the uptrend, which meant that, that the 10 EMA had to be uptrending along with the lower indicators in concurrence to take the trade. And then the scanner gave us this opportunity. This is a forward test, testing here, and our real money is to the back which is covered in the first video of the day. TZA joined us yesterday and it's going good already. It's also earned its EPS. Look, it's cleared its EPS right out of the gate. So we go ahead and we'll grab that and mark that off. There's our first EPS. Okay, coming down to USO. Now USO almost got stopped out, but a recovery. We'll see what we'll be able to hold on strong on. Remember too, when you're setting up your entries and exits, that you you can add you have the buffer rule. Uh, Rockwell is one penny. This high plus one penny. This low minus one penny. Uh, Wealth Builders with Courtney Smith, my first headmaster. It's ten cents plus on the top and minus ten cents on the bottom. And OTA Light uh, Trading School. Uh, online trading academy and that's one of my that's the harvard school of trading uh, a, a lot of uh, in the past they did a lot of academia type of market studies now there's they're more balanced 50 50. the bottom line is that their 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 buffer rule was one percent of the ten percent of the atr so this would be 12 cents so it'd be 12 cents to the top and 12 cents to the bottom so that's how you can handle their buffers Okay, going on now to VICA, and VICA is getting on, getting close. We're going to see what happens, and uh, we can go here and say, okay, we can, we got, we'll, we'll see uh, what, what buffer rules we're going to use. Oh, we already did the buffer rule because you see the odd number, thirty-eight hundred two, and forty-one fifty-four. I think that was done, but uh, speedy of time, we're moving on. And uh, when it gets stopped out, then we can do the actual full numbers, and then we have Wendy's. And Wendy's is still in the game. Now, there are four who did not make it. Why? Because here in the recent column, unfortunately, it's limited to 20. The ones that did not, not, did not get in that 20 is Denny's. And Denny's is still doing good. And Denny's got its first ratio. So it's going to be seeing if it gets a ratio stop out there. Then Mac. And Mac did take a loss of an EPS. So we can go ahead and move that in. All righty, and then uh, the other one was Docs. Doc, Docs is very hot in the news. It, it got some real big, real big publicity in IBAD this past weekend. It got uh, a, a nice mention, and uh, you can see that it, it uh, is still holding pretty strong. So uh, Docs is there, and USB, and USB got stopped out as its first ratio. So we have a win there. And most averages in the first ratio are about 20% net. It could be more, it could be a little less, but the average is about 20%. So that said, going on now to FE. And FE is still in the game. So now with that said, we go on now to the scanner time. The scanner was ran earlier. As you can see, we have four uh, possibilities. So um, and this is we can't even use that. We have to go ahead and now we'll use the right send. And there it is. There's the entry. And it's off the body because that looks a little bit too long. And I don't want this that wide. OK. Uh, here at this company is a little strange. I mean, look at this. It's only like pennies, penny separation. It's really weird. I don't, I don't understand it. I have not this company. I've not seen this company before, but there it is. And then we have BX. Now I could be, it could be instrument surgical. I, I, it seems, no, it's trust. It's an, it is an ETF. Oh, US bonds. That's what it is. Okay. Baxter, uh, Baxter is getting set up for his entry here. And then we have Schaub's trust. 
and there we are. And that is the conclusion of today's forward testing. And I thank you very much for stopping by, checking it out. If you have any questions or any or any particular stock you wish me to look at, uh, to comment on, please drop it into the comment box, and I will look at it, and we'll, we'll do a video on it and do it together. With that, I thank you very much for stopping by and checking it out. Take care.